often I see teams play with, when, when they, they just cross balls without real emphasis. All right. And, and this is another Barcelona uh, concept. Barcelona said that uh, balls that were crossed from wide positions and lofted in the box, they called those counter crosses because the the goalkeeper would come out and players are bigger normally than the strikers and normally they outnumber the amount of attacking players in the box that they would win a ball, they would clear it out 20 yards, the opposing team would pick up the ball and they would be in in, uh, transition the other way. So we really talk a lot about avoiding counter crosses because it defeats our counter uh, counter pressing. It defeats, uh, you know, a lot of our little um, um, attacking ideas. So we have a stinger cross, and that is basically the ball to first post flat early, okay? And then we need runners in the box. So the first runner, so even here, first first cross, maybe that he plays, he plays flat and he's playing behind and we have attackers that are trying to run behind the back, back line. We don't want that ball playing long or we're usually faster but not bigger than they are. So even though it doesn't come through, then it also initiates counter pressing for us. So here we have a counter pressing moment where we win the ball right back and you see that we don't have players in wide positions. We're all compressed. We have good rest rest defense, we're playing vertical again, a combination, and he's in the hatch four, okay? He's in this space, and his job is to play the ball directly across, and this shows that the ball is coming there. And it winds up being an own goal, right? We score. The thing of 2017, I believe, our first six goals, four of them were own goals from the opponent. And I had a, a question in the media, and they said to me, um, you know, you've been lucky to own, you know, do you think that it's going to keep going that way? And I didn't say to them, well, our tactic is to force the opponent to have to always play, you know, defend backwards. But I just said, yeah, we've been lucky. You know, hopefully that luck will continue. <laughs> but it's a tactic, right? And it puts the Defenders would much rather play with them and be able to head balls, but this puts them in positions to have to deal with space behind. Here's a Champions League game. This was in Genk for us this year in Salzburg. Okay. So here again, you see our back line all attacking. We're not worrying about the players over here. The center back, the right center back steps in, plays the first ball forward. We are immediately ready to go into uh, transition the other way. We play in behind. Now, what I want you to see here is is watch the movement of this striker, okay? Fantastic. So both the strikers know, okay, so that's Erling Holland and Hichan Wong. You've probably heard of Erling Holland. But both of them know that in this moment, the, the, the goal right now is to score near post. Right, we're very clear with that. When we get into transition moments, that we need good movements. So, Erling Holland knows that Hichan is is going to most likely set up to get himself to the near post. Hichan sets up the defender. The ball comes there before Chan's even there, and it's an easy. We call those easy goals. We want to score. Our goal is to score eighty percent of goals of our run of play goals like that. We call them easy goals, tap ins, right? Really good movement. So, yeah, I mean, just so that think think carefully about what kinds of, of crosses that you're, you're, you want your team to try to execute. Because, again, I, I think that there's too many teams that, that they just tell, talk about whipping the ball in or putting balls in the box, and there aren't really good ideas about how to actually put, put the opponent into difficult situations. Hi, guys. I... I'd still like to, to quickly explain you why Jesse Mosh uh, asks his player to end the counter-attacks near post, because I don't think he mentioned the real reason, which is his ball-oriented press that Ralph Rangnick and the Red Bull teams have popularized. 
With this game counter, counter you can indeed see the, the Australian's uh, orientation towards the ball with two players on the ball carrier and two players coming back to, to close the space behind them. But actually, uh, almost the whole team has repositioned in, itself on, on the left side, so it is not a, a coincidence that Jesse Moore's players are, are then going to, to counter-attack uh, through this left side. Now it's coming. To run. Here again you can see the Austrians were still mainly positioned on the left, so a cross to the far post would not make much, much sense, uh, because besides giving the defender more time to react and the goalkeeper the possibility to intercept the ball, Genk would also be at an, an advantage if the ball would not end up being touched because um, Salzburg uh, has no has no players on the right side due to this ball-oriented press. By playing at the near post, um, the, the Austrians ensure that they will be dangerous anyway, even if the ball is lost, as the, midfield, uh, as the midfielders could also directly come and, and counter-press, but it wasn't needed here. Fantastic run. Yes, sir. That's it for me. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to, to my channel to make sure you don't miss uh, similar content. And if you like the video, don't forget to drop me a like, tell me in the comments and, and share the, the video with another football nerd. It would really help me a lot more than, than, you, than you know. Bye-bye.